Well, hello. I uh, come in with a new project for today. What I'm trying to do is maybe not an essential tool in a in a woodworker shop, but you know there are some of us they are a little bit picky about having the tools very sharp. Why? First, prevents accidents. Second, they are easy to work with. And third, you don't need that much effort. So, I started with a uh, uh, piece of leather and it comes uh, like a belt, like in a circle. They use for stropping. You ever seen those uh, stropping apparatus that have two tensioning bars inside and you put this round belt and you crank it and and uh, tighten on the piece of uh, leather and then you you use that for stropping mainly they used to strop a straight uh, blade for for shaving now uh, then it was adopted by the woodworkers to sharpen their chisels and plain irons you know but that was too complicated well, there's too much work and it takes too long to honing your your chisels and plain irons so what I came out with the idea is use that belt and that piece of leather and hook it up to a motor and a couple of pulleys and having turning all the time so I can just turn it on Hold my chisel at the right angle on the uh, on my stropping machine, and have an insert super scary sharpening edge or sharp edge. Uh, so there you go. We're gonna see that the uh, the uh, machine is not that complicated. It takes a couple of wheels and a little motor that I had and any old motor that you had in your uh, garage or shop it'll, it'll do because you don't need that much power you don't when you're stropping an edge you don't push really hard you just let it turn in a very little uh, pressure so without uh, any more I'll go with you and show you what I did. Thank you very much. Enjoy. You can see here where we enclose the motor in a, in a, uh, a wooden case so we can attach the motor to the machine I was thinking about. Here you can see I had to flatten the top so I can put the top and it will be very flush and strong. I already installed the top out of here and uh, once the top was installed I can start working on the risers to support the wheels. The uh, and the uh, and here is the bottom part of the supports the risers once I had it uh, located and uh, you can see the two risers that supports the wheels. The wheel is not finished yet. I'm going to have to run it on the lathe. Uh, here are the uh, the belt tensioners. The best uh, uh, figure I can, uh, the best shape I can take for the belt tensioners were the figure uh, the, like a letter H. So it wouldn't be rocking or twisting inside the guide the bearing on top so that's the best shape I can find to run on the runners on the side install the bearings here the two risers already mounted on the motor and the box that holds the motor and you can see how the runners work so it won't be twisting inside the rails, you know, the figure H is the best 
of the shape for that runner, for the belt tensioner. We can see it has this coming along. I used a half inch pillow block bearings, the cheap ones, they don't need to be the expensive ones. Uh, here you can see the tensioner, how it works. And this is a long screw and a T-nut on top of a little block that I built. So you can adjust the size so it'll, it'll center the belt also. Not only tension it, but uh, adjust the run up. And there's a backup board. So when you apply the chisel, they won't go too far in. So you can see the backup board in a little bit. Now here you're charging the belt with some uh, rouge or uh, cadmium uh, uh, paste. And uh, there is all kinds of, you know, so paste. Uh, here is a chisel that is not too sharp. And that's how you strop it. You just hold the chisel at the right angle under the running belt and uh, that's the way you hone or strop your uh, chisels and and uh, irons and your plain irons depending on the on the chisel they might take a little longer but to take a little shorter you know normally it's not that long between two or three minutes uh, honing the chisel is good enough to go unless it's terrible uh, sharp sh the shape is the sharpness is terrible you know then it will take a little bit of sanding too but if you maintain it you don't need to not need to do the sanding here I used to I'm doing some ipe a piece of ipe that is very 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 hard wood and you see how it shaves it. If the chisel wouldn't be sharp, it can do it. See, I hear I'm sh uh, shaving my arm to prove that it's very, very sharp. It's it's as sharp as a razor blade. It's that sharp, but I don't think the razor blade would do.